Hello, I'm Anthony Hughes. In Dorico, where note input is active, an orange carrot and rhythmic grid are displayed. Let's find out all about them. The carrot indicates the rhythmic position that notes will be input. It advances automatically when you input a note. You can advance the carrot manually by the selected duration by pressing space. In fact, you have complete control over the carrot, moving it to where you want to input music. Use the right and left arrow keys to move forwards and backwards, and use the up and down arrow keys to move to adjacent staves and instruments. Use Control and the left and right arrow keys, that's Command on Mac, to move the carrot whole bars at a time. Because you can move the carrot in this way, you do not need to add rests when entering music. Rather, just input the notes at the position you need them, and the relevant rests are added automatically. The left and right arrow keys move the carrot by the duration of the rhythmic grid, which is this series of lines shown above the staff in the same bar as the carrot. The rhythmic grid is a concept widely used across Dorico and is used for positioning and moving many kinds of music item, shortening and lengthening items, and so on. The grid also helps you to click at the correct rhythmic position to input notes with the mouse, even before note input has been activated. The resolution of the rhythmic grid is indicated by the lines, with the beats of the prevailing time signature or meter drawn slightly longer. This resolution can be changed with a control on the status bar, allowing you the precision to position the carrot exactly where you need it. You can also use the key commands ALT and the square bracket keys to increase and decrease the rhythmic grid resolution. The carrot is embellished with additional information about how note input is set to operate. The note icon tells you which voice you're inputting into, including whether it is an upstem or downstem voice. When chord input is active, a plus sign is displayed at the top of the carrot to show that notes input will be added at the same rhythmic position. The carrot does not automatically advance in chord input. Instead, you're free to add as many notes as needed to your chord then press space to advance the carrot by the duration of the chord. The carrot becomes shorter when inputting grace notes. When insert mode is enabled, where new notes push subsequent music along to make room, the carrot is adorned with finials and uses a dotted line to indicate a wider scope. I explain insert mode fully in another video, so do check that one out. Holding shift, and pressing the up and down arrow keys extends the carrot onto subsequent staves. This allows you to use your computer or MIDI keyboard to input onto multiple instruments at the same time. When inputting onto a grand staff instrument, such as a piano, and the carrot is extended to cover both staves, Dorico intelligently calculates which staff notes should belong to. It's not only notes that can be input at the carrot position. You can create other kinds of notation without having to first exit note input, making it an extremely fast way to work. So that's the carrot and rhythmic grid in Dorico. Remember, if you subscribe to our channel below and hit the bell, you'll be notified every time we add a new video. I'm Anthony Hughes. Thanks for watching.